All right, let's check out what's going on with eCash. So I've just booted this chart up. This is my first video on eCash. Uh, I've drawn the FIB from the high to the low. You can see there's nothing to pay attention to here because we are below all of the key levels we need to be above. And uh, if we do take this FIB from the all time high, you can see, you know, we are quite a significant amount below the 786. I will, you know, give it the benefit of the doubt and draw it to the candle body close. But even then you can still see we're below the 786. So really we have just broken bearish um it you know we've we back tested this multiple times and when we did lose it we back tested it again fell off the table and it looks like we're coming to back test it now so there are a couple of warning signs i see namely that the rsi and the money flow indicator have just exploded in the past few days and there's you know not really much volume at all compared to you know previous times and even when we did have these you know slightly bigger volumes they were dead cat bounces so in my opinion um we really need to get above the 8955 level while we are below this we're below the 786 so nothing is bullish at all um the the only thing i see that's you know somewhat bullish on this is so far we've put in a triple triple bottom so that is somewhat nice i'd say your number one hopium scenario as i said the rsi and the money flow indicator is very overextended so best case scenario we do something like this back test this you know take our time and then go off to the races that would allow you know the rsi to reset that would allow the mfi which is the money flow indicator to reset i'd say that is your best case scenario and that is you know that's asking for quite a bit to be fair so uh if we do take the short-term fib from the all-time high you can see you know we've so far been rejected from the 0.5 uh, i wouldn't pay too much attention to micro fibs like i said i would need to see a break above 8939 before i do get bullish on this so yeah um not much to talk about in the chart i don't want to make this video long for the sake of it 200 day moving average is barely been out for like a month or so so really nothing to talk about there we don't know how or if the um what's it called eCash will respect this so yeah i won't even um won't even mention it so yeah the only thing I, i'm paying attention to right now is the 786 which is right about you know 8929 uh if we do break above there in the short term so be it i would need to see a weekly close i would need to see the rsi and the money flow indicator re reset if we just go up in a straight line like this i believe the rsi would top very very quickly and we would be coming back to hell very very soon so that is pretty much all i see and also on the flip side one last thing this is your last line in the sand if we break below here we've lost the triple bottom structure uh that is 6239 which is you know still quite a heavy dip but you know we are trending sideways right now on this channel uh, until we do make a break up or a breakdown i wouldn't get too crazy about anything i wouldn't personally be buying the dip until we do break out and i w wouldn't personally be panicking too much until we do break below this uh, orange line but do bear in mind macro term we're bearish we're, we're below everywhere that we need to be below uh we're also we're below everywhere we need to be above and yeah nothing else to talk about really so once again none of this is financial advice if you do hold ecash best of luck to you but yeah cowboy out peace